When you watch your favorite celebrities on TV or in movies, it feels like you know them, right? They flash those camera-ready smiles, charm their way through interviews, and seem like the nicest people in the world. But what if I told you that behind those perfectly curated personas lies a side you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley or anywhere? Some of Hollywood's biggest names are hiding a whole lot of attitude behind the scenes. So, before you go putting them on a pedestal, let's pull back the curtain and reveal the shocking truth about some celebs who are actually jerks in real life. You might just want to keep your distance. Now, let's dive into the list of stars who have left a trail of bad vibes and bruised egos in their wake. 1. Charlie Chaplin Charlie Chaplin's life reads like the script of one of his movies, filled with drama, success, and scandal. Born in London in 1889, Chaplin had a rough start, battling poverty and family hardships. But his early experiences on the stage, from musicals to vaudeville, set him on a path to Hollywood stardom. By the time he brought his iconic character, The Tramp, to life on the big screen, Chaplin was a household name. His ability to blend comedy with social commentary made him one of the most beloved figures in early cinema. The 1940s marked a turning point in Chaplin's life. His outspoken political views, particularly his criticism of capitalism and sympathy for the working class, led to accusations of being too close to communism. This was a dangerous reputation to have during the Red Scare, a time when the U.S. government was cracking down on anyone suspected of communist ties. The FBI, under J. Edgar Hoover, took a keen interest in Chaplin building a case against him that would eventually lead to his exile. But it wasn't just politics that made Chaplin controversial. Charles faced multiple court cases, and the most notable was the one with Joan Barry, an actress who accused him of fathering her child. DNA eventually proved him not guilty, but it was one of many scandals and accusations. His marriages also raised eyebrows, particularly his union with Una O'Neill, the daughter of playwright Eugene O'Neill, who was 36 years younger than Chaplin. His final blow came when he released Monsieur Verdoux in 1947, a dark comedy that criticized war and capitalism. Many in the US viewed the film as unpatriotic, leading to its poor reception. The culmination of these controversies led to Chaplin's exile from the United States. In 1952, Chaplin received news of the revocation of his re-entry permit to the US while traveling to London for the premiere of Limelight. Rather than fight the decision, Chaplin chose to settle in Switzerland, where he lived out the rest of his life. 2. Ellen DeGeneres Ellen DeGeneres was once the poster child for kindness, with her Be Kind motto resonating across millions of homes. But behind the scenes, things were far from kind. In 2020, serious allegations emerged about the toxic work environment on The Ellen DeGeneres Show. Although Ellen didn't face direct accusations of bullying, the accusations against her producers provided a stark contrast to the reality of working on her show. Claims of discrimination, harassment, and intimidation characterized the atmosphere as toxic. The fallout was severe, with Ellen losing over a million viewers in just a year, a massive hit for a show that was once a daytime TV juggernaut. But the controversies didn't stop there. Ellen found herself in hot water for a series of incidents that made people question her be kind mantra. In 2019, she faced backlash after being spotted hanging out with former President George W. Bush, a figure not exactly known for his support of LGBTQ rights or peace. The public was quick to point out the hypocrisy, and Ellen's defense of her friendship with Bush didn't sit well with many of her fans. Ellen's reputation took another hit with stories about her behavior towards guests and staff. There were moments on her show where she came off as less than kind, and a security guard who worked with her at the Oscars once described her as demeaning. Even fellow comedians like Kathy Griffin have hinted at Ellen's mean streak, suggesting that her sunny on-screen persona doesn't always match up with reality. 3. William Shatner William Shatner, a.k.a. Captain Kirk, has had a career that's truly out of this world. With his larger-than-life personality, Shatner commanded attention both on and off the set of Star Trek. But his ego? Well, that's another story. Known for being intense and sometimes difficult to work with, Shatner wasn't exactly everyone's favorite on set. In fact, the cast and crew were so accustomed to his character that they often referred to him as Captain Kirk. 
even off camera. This might sound like a sign of respect, but it was also a nod to how he carried that same commanding presence, and some would say, arrogance, into real life. One of the most talked about moments in Shatner's later years was his absence from Leonard Nimoy's funeral. Fans and colleagues alike were shocked when the actor failed to show up to pay his respects to his longtime co-star and friend. The internet buzzed with speculation and criticism, questioning what kind of man wouldn't attend the funeral of someone who had been by his side through so much. Shatner's reputation for having a large ego extended beyond the Star Trek set. When Comedy Central announced a roast for William Shatner, the response was electric. Celebrities lined up, eager to take their shots at him. And let's just say, the jokes weren't exactly kind. The roast turned into a public airing of grievances, with everyone finally telling Shatner what they really thought of him, none of it flattering. Shatner's ego wasn't just a professional issue, it bled into his personal life as well. His long-standing feud with co-star George Takei is legendary, with both actors trading barbs over the years, mostly about Shatner's love for the spotlight. Despite the public persona of the confident and charismatic Captain Kirk, Shatner's personal life has had its share of turbulence. Shatner has experienced multiple marriages, and the tragic loss of his third wife, Noreen, profoundly affected him. It's a reminder that behind the bravado, there's a man who has faced real heartache and challenges. 4. Jennifer Lawrence Jennifer Lawrence has become one of Hollywood's most influential and successful actresses. Her Academy Award and a string of blockbuster hits like the Hunger Games series and Silver Linings Playbook have hailed her as a powerhouse performer. Her candid, relatable personality initially won her legions of fans and made her one of the most beloved stars in the industry. Despite her massive success, Lawrence openly admits that she's often rude to fans as a defense mechanism. In interviews, she's confessed that when she's out in public, she becomes incredibly rude as a way to protect her privacy. This includes giving fans an icy glare and flatly refusing photo requests with a stern no. While some may see this as a way for her to maintain boundaries, others view it as an entitled attitude that's out of line for someone in the public eye. Beyond her interactions with fans, Lawrence's blunt and sometimes harsh demeanor has caused some to question if fame has gone to her head. Despite receiving praise for her honesty, her handling of these situations has left a bitter taste in the mouths of many admirers. While some see this as a necessary defense mechanism, others view it as a sign that fame has perhaps gone to her head. This behavior has sparked a debate about whether Lawrence's success has negatively affected how she treats those around her. Despite her achievements, this aspect of her personality has caused some to question if she's become too big for her britches, casting a shadow over her otherwise stellar reputation in the industry. 5. Charlie Sheen Charlie Sheen wasn't just an actor, he was a phenomenon. Known for his roles in iconic films like Platoon and Wall Street, Sheen hit the jackpot with Two and a Half Men, where he played a fun-loving, hard-drinking bachelor. But as his fame grew, so did his problems. In the late 90s, Charlie's troubles started making headlines, beginning with a cocaine-fueled night in 1998 that landed him in the ER. His father, Martin Sheen, downplayed the incident, but it was the start of a downward spiral. Rehab became a revolving door for Charlie, who struggled to stay clean, and his personal life was just as chaotic. His marriage to Denise Richards ended in a highly publicized and messy divorce, complete with a bitter custody battle. But it didn't stop there. In 2009, Sheen was arrested for domestic violence in Aspen, adding to his already tarnished reputation. The following year, he was back in the news for trashing a hotel room while heavily intoxicated. By 2011, Sheen's erratic behavior had reached new heights. Once again, Sheen found himself hospitalized, but instead of seeking help, he transformed his meltdown into a bizarre public spectacle. Sheen's infamous tiger blood and winning rants became the talk of the town, but they also marked the beginning of the end for his career. His public feud with Two and a Half Men creator Chuck Lorre led to his firing from the show, and his life has never quite recovered. Charlie Sheen's destructive behavior, addiction, and a series of scandals have overshadowed his legacy, despite his attempts to reinvent himself. 6. Julia Roberts Julia Roberts has been a household name for decades, starring in some of the most beloved films of all time. 
But while she may play charming characters on screen, off screen is a different story. Let's dive into some of the most talked about moments in Julia's life. First up, her romantic life. Julia was once engaged to Kiefer Sutherland, but just days before the wedding, she called it off and ran off to Ireland with his friend, Jason Patrick. This was a twist straight out of a Hollywood script, leaving fans and tabloids in shock. Then there was her whirlwind romance with country singer Lyle Lovett. They married quickly and divorced just as fast, leaving many scratching their heads, wondering who Lyle Lovett even was. But Julia's not just famous for her love life. She's also known for throwing some serious shade with style. Case in point, during the early days of her relationship with Danny Motor, who was still married at the time, Julia was spotted wearing a t-shirt that read, A Low Vera, a not-so-subtle jab at Motor's then-wife, Vera. Talk about sending a message without saying a word. Julia's reputation on set hasn't always been the best, either. During the filming of Hook, where she played Tinkerbell, she earned the nickname Tinker Hell due to reported clashes with director Steven Spielberg. Spielberg has even stated that he wouldn't work with her again, citing her emotional state on set as a major issue. And the drama didn't stop there. There has also been strain in Julia's relationship with her family. Her sister once claimed that Julia's fame and ego had destroyed their once close bond. To top it all off, rumors circulated that Julia skipped her half-sister's wedding because she didn't approve of the groom and was worried about the wedding expenses. Tragically, her sister passed away before they could reconcile. While Julia Roberts may be America's sweetheart on the big screen, it seems that in real life she's left quite a few people frowning. Whether it's romantic drama, family feuds, or on-set antics, Julia's real-life story is a far cry from the lovable characters she plays in her movies. 7. Raze Witherspoon Raze Witherspoon is a big deal in Hollywood, known for her talent as an actress, producer, and businesswoman. With over 30 years in the industry, she's racked up an impressive list of accolades including an Oscar, an Emmy, and several Golden Globes. From her early roles in Cruel Intentions and Election to her unforgettable turn as Elle Woods in Legally Blonde, Reese has captured the hearts of audiences worldwide. Her role as June Carter Cash in Walk the Line even earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. But even someone as seemingly sweet and charming as Reese isn't immune to controversy. In 2013, Reese's carefully crafted image took a hit when she found herself in trouble with the law. The incident began when Reese and her husband Jim Toth encountered a traffic stop in Atlanta. After weaving in and out of lanes while driving, police stopped Jim on suspicion of DUI. Instead of letting the officers do their job, Reese got out of the car and famously asked, Do you know who I am? She continued to argue with the police, resulting in her arrest for disorderly conduct. The incident shocked fans and made headlines as it was hard to reconcile this behavior with the Reese Witherspoon everyone knew from her films. Following the arrest, Reese quickly apologized, calling her behavior embarrassing and expressing deep regret for the way she handled the situation. While this scandal was a rare misstep in Reese's otherwise spotless career, it served as a reminder that even Hollywood sweethearts can have their off days. Fortunately, Reese's charm and talent have allowed her to move past this incident and she remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. 8. Tommy Lee Jones Tommy Lee Jones is the epitome of Texas grit. Born and raised in Midland, Texas, his early life was filled with family drama that could easily be the lyrics of a country song. After a rocky childhood filled with breakups and reconciliations, Tommy took a sharp turn from cowboy life and landed at Harvard, where he earned his degree. But don't let the Ivy League background fool you. Tommy didn't waste any time after graduation. He made a beeline for New York, diving headfirst into acting. From daytime dramas to old-school westerns, Tommy quickly made a name for himself in the industry, even snagging an Emmy along the way. But while his acting chops are undeniable, it's his off-screen persona that's just as legendary. Tommy Lee Jones is famously known as the Grumpy Cat of Hollywood. He doesn't just roll his eyes at silly antics, he shuts them down entirely. A perfect example? During the filming of Batman Forever, Jones famously told off Jim Carrey with an icy, I cannot sanction your buffoonery, making it clear that clowning around wasn't going to fly on his watch, and it doesn't stop there. Stories of him giving flight attendants the stink eye and generally maintaining a no-nonsense demeanor 
have become part of Hollywood lore. Some might say he's grouchy, and others might call him rude, but it's just Tommy being Tommy. In a world full of Hollywood glitz and glamour, there's something almost endearing about a guy who's unapologetically himself, even if that self happens to be a bit grumpy. So the next time you see Tommy Lee Jones on screen, remember, the tough, no-nonsense attitude isn't just an act, it's who he really is. Tommy Lee Jones may be Hollywood's grumpy gatekeeper, but he's also one of its most respected and enduring figures, proving that sometimes a little grumpiness goes a long way. 9. Patrick Dempsey Patrick Dempsey, the man who stole hearts as McDreamy on Grey's Anatomy, seems like the perfect blend of charm and talent. But what if we told you that the real drama happened off screen? Today, we're diving deep into the controversy surrounding Patrick Dempsey's exit from the hit show. Was he really the McDreamy everyone thought he was? Or was there a darker side to this Hollywood heartthrob? Patrick Dempsey first captured our hearts in the 1987 classic Can't Buy Me Love, but it wasn't until he donned the scrubs of Dr. Derek Shepard on Grey's Anatomy that he became a household name. McDreamy was everyone's favorite neurosurgeon, and Dempsey's on-screen chemistry with Ellen Pompeo was undeniable. But as his character soared in popularity, so did whispers of tension behind the scenes. By 2015, rumors were swirling that Dempsey's behavior on set had taken a turn for the worse. Reports from cast and crew members suggested that Dempsey was becoming increasingly difficult to work with. James D. Perriott, an executive producer on Grey's Anatomy, later revealed in an interview that Dempsey had been terrorizing the set. The situation got so tense that it allegedly caused stress and anxiety among the crew, with some even describing PTSD-like symptoms. When Dempsey left Grey's Anatomy, it was a shocker that rocked the fan base. Rumors circulated suggesting that his departure wasn't solely a creative choice, but rather a result of significant tension behind the scenes. Word on the street was that Dempsey's attitude on set had turned sour, leading to a difficult working environment. Some insiders claimed he had become a bit of a diva, which only added fuel to the fire when it was time to say goodbye to Dr. Derek Shepard. Fans were heartbroken and surprised to learn that their beloved McDreamy might have been causing some real-life drama off-screen. As more details emerged, it became clear that his departure from the show was more complicated than anyone had imagined. 10. Kirstie Alley Kirstie Alley wasn't always the Hollywood heavyweight we came to know. Before she was a household name, Allie was just another actress trying to break into the big leagues. That all changed when she landed the role of Rebecca Howe on Cheers, a show that had America laughing through the 80s and 90s. Overnight, Allie went from who's that to, oh, that's Kirstie Alley. Cheers wasn't just any TV show. It was a cultural phenomenon, and Allie's sharp wit and comedic timing made her a star. But Allie wasn't just content with her newfound fame. She had strong opinions and wasn't afraid to share them, especially when it came to Scientology. Kirstie Alley is not just a member of the Church of Scientology, she's one of its most vocal supporters. This loyalty sparked a lot of controversy, as Alley frequently found herself in the middle of public debates defending the Church. For some fans, her outspoken support of Scientology was intriguing, adding another layer to her public persona. For others, it was a deal-breaker leading to some pretty intense backlash. Allie's association with Scientology even led to clashes with other celebrities. One of the most notable feuds was with actress Leah Remini, who famously left Scientology and became one of its harshest critics. Allie didn't hold back in her criticism of Remini, calling her a bigot for her outspoken stance against the church. This feud grabbed headlines and further polarized public opinion on Allie. And let's not forget about the time she got into hot water for her tweets, which frequently sparked controversy. Whether it was about politics, weight loss, or Hollywood culture, Allie's social media presence was anything but subtle, and it often led to public outcry. Her boldness in expressing her views made her a polarizing figure, loved by some, loathed by others. Through all the drama, Allie remained unapologetically herself, never backing down from a fight or a chance to share her truth. Regardless of your feelings towards her, Kirstie Alley remained a formidable presence on and off the screen.